hey what's up guys hey, welcome back to my channel in this video today i am gonna be you know taking on one huge request that i've been getting on this channel and you know <laughs> should i say i've kind of been skipping it and this is basically around you know something that's actually going to help you guys in the process of making money in the online space right so uh before now on my channel i do a whole lot of talks around affiliate marketing and how to get started how to scale and also how to create your own digital products and you know monetize it making money from your skills right so there is actually one big thing that is in the midst of you marketing you know whether it's an affiliate product or your own products and that is setting up your funnel and inside of this is where you have to set up email automation right so in this video today i am going to be sharing with you guys a step-by-step -step guide on how we can set up get response automation right because this is actually one of those tools that i recommend if you are setting up email automation for your funnel basically in this video i'll be walking you through every of the step-by-step process that would help you understand get response what features they have and also how you can actually get started with automating your email marketing with get response right and if this is something you want to learn make sure you stick right here with me in this video today Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and here I do tips and tricks, reviews and strategies that will help you grow your online presence and if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash on the subscribe button right now and also the bell icon so that you do not miss any of my videos, right? So in this video, like I said, we are going to be walking you through the get response automation and you understanding everything that you need to know around get response and how you can make a whole lot of money using this simple tool in your funnel, right? So I'm going to be sharing with you guys my screen right here so that you can actually watch with me as i actually you know do all of this in step by step because basically what i do here is you know um i understand that it's not just talking it's more of practical so i actually give you guys the practical step by step processes to get things done of how to make money online i take my time to go through you know um, all of these processes myself and come up with what works come up with what will help you scale what will make you the real money online and i share it down with you right so Make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that you keep on getting notification of every of my videos. And at the same time, go ahead and watch on my screen right now. Okay, so to begin this, uh, the very first thing you need to do is to actually, you know, have an account to get response. And uh, in order for you to get access to get response, you can actually use the link I have right down there in the description. Or you can actually see the link I have right down here, franklymanu.com slash get response so if you actually use this link you are going to be getting access to get response and you're going to get 30 day free trial and that basically means you get 30 days for free to test out get response and you know get access to using most of their functions and features to do your marketing for free for 30 days so make sure you actually use this link right here and um, you can just copy it and put it on your browser or check in the description where you can see this again so i'm going to click on this link right now and um, once i click on this link it's going to open up get response for me and once get response is opened up you can actually see now when it comes to looking for uh, an autoresponder tool which is basically what some of you guys might call it right uh, because it helps you to automate your emails basically now get response actually is one of those in the first you know um the the, the first guy in the list right they have a whole lot of cool features especially um for beginners that can actually help you to automate your marketing and you know get better results from systems right so looking through this uh, the screen right here you can see um it's a power and simplified tool to send emails create pages and automate your marketing and here you can see you can do your email marketing you can do um you can create your website you can do marketing automation and also you can also create funnels using get response right so this is more of like a robust tool that gives you access to so many features and uh, you can see here you're going to be getting 30 days free because you use my link to sign up and coming over here there are so many other features that get response has but you can see from email marketing email creator to responder email analytics sales funnel lead magnet the website builder the web push notification live chat landing pages and a whole lot more right they will integrate your paid ads uh, this way you can actually get to optimize your ads based on um, the results you're getting from those ads on facebook on google right so you can actually see this is a very robust tool and um, in order for us to have a focus for this video i won't be touching every aspect i'll be focusing more on the autoresponder aspect which you would need in your funnel for either affiliate marketing or selling your own digital products on the internet right so that is exactly what we're going to do today so let me go over to the pricing and um, share with you guys the pricing for get response like i said you're going to be getting 30 days for free because you actually use my link to sign up and you can see here you can start with um, the 30 day free plan 
but then it's also cool to know that get response is quite cheap right it's actually one of you know those cheap um, email automation tools out there that you can actually use for yourself and your business now for the basic plan uh, where you actually get most of these features here you start up with a list of for 1000 in your list you get 15 dollars per month right and um, basically let's say you have a list of about 2500 you'll be paying like $25 per month. And at the same time, uh, let's go to the plus plan. The plus plan just gives you um, extra access to some other features, which include marketing automation, webinars, and so much more. And you can see that um, the price here is $49. Now, um, starting out at $15 per month is quite cheap because there are some other email automation tools that would charge you about $25 to $30 just for the very first month using the same list of $1,000. Right, so um, once you've actually been able to discuss this pricing, uh, you can actually go ahead and make payments monthly, right? But then as your number increases, that's the number of your list increases, you also get to, you know, pay higher, basically. And you, or you can just go ahead and pay for um, a year. Paying for a year, instead of 15, you're paying for, you're paying $12.3, right? Or you can pay for two years where you pay $10, right? You're going to pay $10 for your list of $1,000. That's if you're paying for two years, basically. And um, this is it for the pricing. So you can see it's actually um, beginner friendly, right? So if you're just starting out and uh, you're really looking for something that's cost effective, GetResponse is one of those tools you should actually have. Now, let's go ahead and sign up, right? So um, you can see here, you can actually start your free trial. So all you need to do right here is to just input your name, your email, and your password, and you can create a free account, right? But I have an account already, so I'm going to go ahead and log in and um, let me click on the login button now and log into my own account. Okay, so this is actually one of my accounts on uh, GetResponse and you can see on this account, my free trial is already expired because I've used it for over 30 days. I use my link to sign up for myself and, you know, after the 30 days, you can actually go ahead and start up a subscription on, you know, um, this particular tool. That's the next thing to do, right? But then you can actually see that at least to an extent, I've actually used this particular tool and I've been able to send emails um, here and you can see I have a total list size of 825 inside of this tool, right? So, uh... Uh, walking you through this right now is, you know, uh, me helping you understand uh, the different aspects of you setting up your autoresponder on GetResponse. Now, for you to set up your autoresponder, one of the basic things that GetResponse allows you to do is to have what we call a list, right? So you need a list because uh, an autoresponder is linked to your funnel. And definitely you have several funnel for, you know, um, different products that you're selling or even one product you're selling can have a series of funnels and you have, you know, um, different lists or um, different autoresponder that you want to shoot to the various funnels you have. Have, basically and that is actually the very first thing that you know great response allows you to do so when you're starting up the first thing you should have your mind is oh i need to create a list that is the first thing create a list so you can actually see right here at the top section here you can actually smash on list and smashing on list uh, you can actually come down here and click on create list and um, let me just say because of this training i can just say um, itbe training uh, underscore list and uh, once i do that i'll click on create so now it's good. Now you see the list has been created, and that is the list. This list we just created right, right here, YTBE training underscore list, right? So um, sometimes um, when you're creating a list on GetResponse, you can actually get to meet up some errors with the name. So it's just good to try out several names, uh, use underscore and some a few other things. They're gonna give me instructions on how to create the list name, and then it just um, goes in. So once you've been able to do this. Uh, the next thing you need to do right now is to now uh, create the autoresponder, right? So coming here, you can see uh, autoresponders here. So you can either go ahead and smash on the autoresponder on the menu uh, option there. And then when you smash on that, you can see this space where it's, where it's showing you the autoresponders you have. But then it's showing you the autoresponder that you have according to the list, right? So you can actually click on this option right here and go smash on this um, this list you just created, right? Because it's based on segmentation and you need to understand that, you know, um, for every autoresponder you're creating, you're creating your autoresponder based on that particular list that you want it to target, basically. Right, so... Once we are here right now, uh, the next thing you need to do is to smash on create autoresponder and creating autoresponder now, this is where it all begins. So it's just quite cool that you get to watch me as I walk you through this very process. So now on this particular page, what you need to do first is to give 
it a name right so let's say you write mail one so this is mail one right or uh this is going to be the mail most times that uh you get to send to your audience immediately they sign up for your free gifts or uh, for your offer basically so once you've actually given it a name you come over underneath here it says linked list linked list right it says linked list here you will have to click or select the list that you want this this particular mail to be directed to so i'm going to smash on that particular list right now i once i've smashed on it i'm going to come down to the autoresponder settings and once i come down to the autoresponder settings you can see it's saying on the on the what now this date here is optional you can say on day one two three four five and going upward so i'm going to leave that the zero and the zero basically means you want it as immediate as possible as instant as whoever you know um has joined your email list inside of get response and come over here and click on same time as sign up now the next thing to uh, allow when the message is going to be sent you want it to be sent every day now this is the basic you know um this, this, this is the beauty of automation, right? Where, where people can receive emails any day, any time, right? At any any time that, you know, um, the person signed up, even if it's 12 midnight, you're sleeping, automatically this mail just shoots to the person as far as you've set it this way. Next thing you have to um, enter your from email address and reply to email address. Now, this is what email sends the, the, the mail, right? What email address would be the from email address and if the audience is going to reply where, where is the mail going to be replied to that's where you add it here now once you've been able to add that um you can come over and add the subject name you can say this is my email one right so you can just add this but then um you should actually have understood what product you're selling and created copies as to what email your audience should receive i've actually done a series of videos that will actually teach you or walk you through you know um this um guy response thing or email marketing you can actually see that video here go ahead and watch this video and understand a little bit more around this so coming down here uh, this is where you can now get to design your email so i'm going to click on design message and once you click on design message you have the option to choose a template you have the option to choose a pre-designed template right there are several templates here on um, get response that you can actually use there are several templates here you can use and once all you need to do is just to pick up any one of them here or you can go over to my templates these are templates that i have personally designed myself i personally designed this template myself as it suits me and my brand and what i represent right so i can actually select for my own personal you know templates or you can go ahead and choose a blank template there are also blank templates where there are just blocks where you can just pick up anyone from like this one one column three columns two columns or just a, a, a blank template itself or you can go ahead and use the html editor there are people who have actually built templates based on with html codes just copy and paste in your code and that's good or you can use existing messages that you've sent before to your audience so i'm going to just use my own template basically uh it's something i've used before or then um, you can actually go ahead and let's say we use a pre-designed template so let me say use this template for instance yeah so i have clicked on the template right now and uh coming over to this particular page you can see that this is like um a trainer actually shooting out the mail to his audience basically and um right here you can just see this is more of like um the schedule right schedule for the week and you know asking guys to come up make sure you're actually you know aware of the schedule and you can you know follow up with the training as and when it's time so you can see one cool thing here the fact that every element is highlighting as my mouse is hovering on them and all you need to do is just to drag and drop it's a drag and drop um, email builder that you just drag and drop it in drag and drop it in any of the elements here so if it's an image you want to drag and drop it just drag and drop an image in here and you can just drop it in and um, you can browse the image and the cool thing here is uh get response has a link to shutterstock <laughs> and a few other um free images from get response that you could just you know um click and use but then you can also upload your own images you can just go ahead and upload your images like when you click on add files you can select files from your computer and you add your own images basically for instance i want to add this image i could just add it and it goes in and all i need to do is to click on use and it enters into you know that particular box space where i want it to fall into 
right? So aside that, you can also drag and drop text. You can drag and drop text, different text at um, different sides and put in your text. That way it's quite easy and simple for you to use. Once you have your text in, you can actually make um, changes to your text, the line spacing, the color, right? The background color of that particular text, you can see it's changing right here. So let me leave it as transparent so that um, the black font um, color still remains. Now, going back, there are other options here when it comes to using buttons or using spacers or using dividers and also, you know, um, social media um, icons where you can actually link out to your social media channels and people click on it, it redirects them to your social media handles on Instagram, on Facebook and all. And um, this is quite cool. So the thing is, once you're actually done with this, you can also add up sections, right? So if you might ask me, okay, how did this guy divide this particular space into two sections? So you can see here is one section, here's another section. So I need to do just to pick up the two column and drop it in here. So you can see there's a there, there's an option for dropping blocks in here, and there's another option for dropping blocks in this other side, right? So <laughs> this is quite cool. And once you have those options, just go back, go back and select your block, and you can just drop, drop in images here. You can go back and drop in text here. You can go back and drop a button at this particular space. Right, so this is it basically. And for the button, all you need to do just to you know add your URL. So let's say we add the URL. Um, let's see, https franklinmanuel.com, my website. Right, you guys should go check out my blog, franklinmanuel.com slash blog. I actually write up a whole lot of stuff there. You're really gonna enjoy it because you love my videos, you will love it when I write. I write a whole lot of you know stuff and I give a whole lot of ideas and guides as to online marketing and how to make money. So go to my website, go to my blog and read up my articles. So for the button text, I can say click here or I can say go to website. You see that I'm changing those text and you can basically just do a little bit more designs, change the color if you want to change the color. You know, um, increase or reduce the button size to large and move it around from center to right or left alignment and all, right? So once you're done, you can actually go back and now uh, we are actually good. So coming over to message styling, this is where you just do the general settings basically. You have the option here to send a text message. So you can see you can just send a text message to yourself. Once you click on this right now, it just sends you a text message. And then uh, you can go ahead and save. So if you love the template you already designed and you want to keep on using it for every other, you know, um, emails you'll be sending, you can just save as as my template and it saves to you as a template. That's why I saved all of those templates that I use personally, right? And um, once you're done, you can click on next and clicking on next, it brings you up to this page where, you know, um, you can go ahead. You can see it's saying you're good to go. And there's also this spam check that uh, it says here, we haven't found any major issues that could land your message in the spam folder. And that is one thing about GetResponse. GetResponse, they are very much concerned about where your messages go, right? Deliverability rates should be on the high side, right? How people get to see your message. It shouldn't be going to spam. It shouldn't be going to junk. Your message even shouldn't be going to update. With GetResponse, it should be going to inbox, right? So that people can easily see your messages and they take necessary action. So once you're done, you can actually smash on save and publish, right? That's the next step here. So I just saved this right now. And um, I'm going to go back to autoresponders. And this is my list. So you can see, guys, that this is the uh, mail one we just created. You can see here, I just selected the list and you can see mail one, this is what we just created. So you can also add mail two because if you're actually creating an autoresponder, the basic goal for automation is adding several emails. So you can have like 30 emails, like back to back. This one sends on 1st of September, this one sends on 2nd, 3rd, this one will send on the 7th, this one is going to send on the 8th, 9th, 10th, this one is going to send on the 20th of that particular month or, that, or um, according to when the person has actually signed up into that particular funnel. All right. So that's actually the cool thing here and all you need to do again, let me just walk you guys through this second process again is to um here it will be mail two all right so mail two and uh we're gonna click on the list and instead of choosing day zero it's gonna be day one and uh, for the day one and every other day it's now cool that you have a specific time that you want that email to be sent because um, if someone actually signed up to your funnel because you were so hungry and you really needed to get information you sign up to your phone around 12 a.m if you send him uh, the next email around 12 a.m the next day he might not be awake to read that so you have to send it at a time that is appropriate so a time that he can actually be awake to open up that particular email and read so you can say exactly at 
and choose your own time. So let's say we are sending it at 19, oh, well that's 7, 7 p.m. basically, right? And you can see the option for time travel here. It's just popped up. So this time travel basically means, you know, um, 7 p.m. in Nigeria is different from 7 p.m. in the U.S. So it's telling you that do you want to make sure it's specific at 7 p.m. for everybody in different location, right? So if it's 7 p.m. in Nigeria, it sends to people in Nigeria. If it's um, 7 p.m. in U.S., it sends to people in the U.S. at that same 7 p.m. time, right? That is the time travel is speaking of. So it says they deliver at recipient local time. So I can actually check it. And um, I can check all of these boxes and come over here, add up my subject, design my content, and I am good to save, right? I can, I'm, I'm good to save, right? So this is basically all you need in order to set up this um, autoresponder. So let's see, I set this up for you now. <laughs> let's say I set this up for you now. Guys, if you're liking this content, if you like what I actually share here, make sure you actually go ahead and smash the subscribe button right now and also hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss my video. You love this? Tell me, yes, I love this video or tell me we are learning so much in the video. Just drop it down in the comment section. Let me know that, yes, you're following me and make sure that you use the links I have in the description to sign up and get started with using Get Response. This tool is super powerful for your business, for your online business, basically. So let me click on design message. So I just want to really quickly show you guys um, what it's going to look like when you have more meals. So I have this designed already and I click on next. And once I click on next, I'm going to open up this place and I go to save. Right. So I click on save. And once I click on save, it's saved already. And I can actually come down here and say um auto responders i click on the list the list is selected and yeah you can actually see that we have our mail one we have our mail two and our mail one stays here send immediately at any day of the week but for mail two it says send at 7 pm any day of the week now so <laughs> you guys like this right <laughs> i hope this was quite you know very interesting if it was interesting tell me yes this video is interesting because uh should i say uh people actually want to see so much more fun and you know so much more interesting side of me basically and i think um i'm gonna be doing more of that this period of time right uh, hopefully you're gonna see more of that and yeah this is actually uh, you know one of the cool ways to try to set up your autoresponder with get response but then like i said earlier um there are all that features get response have but then i'm going to show you one thing and that is how to integrate get response to your website because even though you set up autoresponders here you have to integrate get response to your website if it's wordpress if it's um, whichever um, software you're using basically so you can actually come here to integrations and going over to integrations uh you can see the different the different uh content management system you can actually connect your get response to so there's magento prestashop there's wordpress for woocommerce and there's etsy there's event bright there's clickbank there's okay uh, this is not connected to right there's um the the facebook there's the pixels analytics magento um paypal options and all right so guys there are a lot of options when it comes to integrating get response into different tools online and all you need to do even if you feel like oh your the, the website or the management system you're using is not here you can go to integrate it with using zapier so zapier is basically a tool that helps with uh, merging or integrating different softwares together so if you you don't find the option of integrating get response to your own tool go ahead and use zapier zapier is going to help you integrate it perfectly fine right and you can actually use the api option where you can copy your own api and use the api to integrate get response to all of your tools that's quite easy and simple now guys uh the next thing here is you know um you share with me a few other things that you actually want to learn right what are those things that you're expecting or what are those things you actually want me to walk you through when it comes to automation funnel building and affiliate marketing setting your digital product go ahead and drop it in the comment section below and definitely i'm gonna make out time to you know teach you those things, make a video around them and help you learn better, right? So this is it for today, guys. Um, this is basically how you can actually get to set up your autoresponder using GetResponse uh, for email marketing automation, right? So I hope this helps you and I hope you make more money in your online marketing business, basically, right? So with this, I will see you in my next video. Hopefully tomorrow, you're going to see me back on live, right? Peace.